Good evening to everyone. Uh, let me welcome here at uh, the Q&A uh, with uh, one of the most important directors of Ihlava Film Festivals because uh, uh, our guest uh, director of uh, of the film Latvian Kurds, uh, Ivar Zviedris, uh, won uh, the award of uh, in section Between the Seas uh, for the best documentary uh, in this section. So first of all, uh, let me welcome here uh, Ivars and con congratulations again to, to the award. Uh, I think it was uh, really worth uh, being awar awarded because this film uh, called Latvian Coyotes uh, is uh, definitely one of the best films I've seen uh, this year uh, in the program of uh, Ihlava Film Festival. Um, it, this film uh, brings alive uh, the theme of uh, migration, but uh, as we, as you mentioned, and as we talked about it, it's it's a theme of um, of economic migration. It's not it's not uh, refugees uh, because of uh, uh, war or some other um, complicated situation, such as uh, such as from Syria. Um, so uh, we follow. Uh, the main character of the documentary who becomes, uh, by coincidence, uh, a trafficker, a person who, who brings, um, who brings uh, people to, uh, from uh, Russia uh, throughout, through the muds, through the border to, to Latvia. And um, we also follow him uh, throughout the complications because he's, he's getting caught uh, uh, by the by the police and uh, he's going to jail for this uh, for this uh, uh, um, operation or for his for his actions and we also see that um, um, he is uh, thinking about uh, the, the about this action he did and he's also thinking about the circumstances and he's also thinking about uh, what uh, he's going to do after he finishes uh, finishes uh, his uh, uh, his jail uh, sentence and uh, the important thing of the documentary is that it, it also describes the background of people living near the border so um, it's uh, it's it's a life uh, in the in the ru uh, rural region uh, where agriculture is still part of the of the culture of the region but it's slowly fading out and uh, it's also the region of poverty so uh, first of all, uh, my question goes to uh, to Ivars. Um, how did he came up with uh, the idea, or how did he encounter? Uh, did you know the region well, uh, or did you know some of the some of the people uh, from the region and started to follow this, or was it uh, was it part of your uh, previous work? As you as I've read that you've worked for television. Sorry, my English is not so good. Zan help me. I, I yes. I speak in Latvian and uh, she translates the English. Okay, uh, fine. No, yeah, it's that the entire Europe's savienims on Latvijas austrum gale robeža. Un man liekas, ka jebkurā gadījumā šī robeža ir, tas ir tās tunelis, 2 km plats tunelis, kur tā dzīve ir noslēpumā un interesanti jebkurā gadījumā, vai tas ir tur valkātā, jeb kaut kādā citā gadījumā. Well, you were saying that it's very special place in Latvia because it's the, basically there ends European Union and starts uh, the, um, Russia. So it's a very interesting place where people are living. As you're saying, there's many poor people because there is no jobs and they need to seek somehow to do something to, to find uh, some other things to do to, 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 for living. So for him, it was just an interesting place to see how people are living there and what they are doing there. Tur vajag speciāls atļaus, lai iebraukt tenī 2 km tunelī. Yeah, and you need a special... Um, it's not like you're going there just like in some other place. You need some special uh, permission to get there. Mm -hmm. un, un, un tas atļaus un viss tā situācija pierobieši ir saglabājusi tā dzīve ir tā kā apstājusies gandrīz vai nu pēc padomu savienības sabrukšanas tādā 2 km tunelī. Yeah, sometimes there's a, there's a feeling that the life is it's like on hold there. It's like frozen in the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
so so how how was your uh, first encounter or how did how did uh, how did the idea to uh, focus on this on the main character came up Nav viegla atrast varoni, kurš ir amier filmēties, nu ka viņš dar to nelegālo darbiem. Because it's very hard to find someone who will tell you about this illegal mm -hmm. job because it's an illegal and uh, yeah, it was very hard to find someone who will who will who will let him. Un sākotnē mums bija pilnīgi cits varonis. In the first uh, the first um, there was some other guy who was uh, Ivar was filming, but then he, well, he got also, he also uh, was in prison and then he decided that he don't want to, to be in uh, this film. And they were filming um, more than four years and uh, then this guy he decided that no he don't want to be in this in this project and divers was um, mm -hmm. was uh, looking for other character and then he find the finch yeah ne ne no ne be vie no vis jau skaidrs vis mums arī jau tā pierobeža jau tā ka zināj ne be ne ne be vienkārši atrast bet bet tad jā mēs tiešām atradām pepiņu nu kurš ir īstenībā cits tipa valkātājs nu viņš jau nav baigākais par pasaules noziedzniekus mm -hmm. And uh, all like all people in this border area, they know that Ivar is uh, filming there, and um, it was lucky that they found uh, Pepinch. But he is uh, kind of different type of this um, um, Latvian coyote because that guy, the previous guy, he was more um, he was more like, he was, he was yeah, more aggressive and more like a serial player than uh, than these guys. This is like he's the middle part of this whole chain. Mm -hmm. So um, it's uh, it's pity to hear that you you should with someone who just uh, re resigned for uh, for this uh, for this project and didn't want to continue. Uh, but the result of the film is is really um, amazing. Uh, also, you mentioned that you have to you have to get some kind of permission or approval uh, to get in this in this location, and also you have to have uh, some kind of agreement of the people being in in the film. So I wonder, first of all, how difficult it was to get the permission for for the shooting, uh, because you also shot at at uh, the jury. Uh, co at the court, uh, you also shot in the police station uh, or the detention centers and so on. So, how difficult it was to get the permissions? And also, if you have, if you had to have uh, approvals from the people, also from the migrants being in the film, or it's it's just you didn't you didn't get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. Nu jā, protams, vajadzēja speciāls atļaus. Nē, nē, bet vispār vajadzēja speciāls atļaus. Nu, bija tā, ka tad, kad es saņēmu finansējumu šajā filmē, bet to, ko burtiski tā būs vieglāk. Nu, vienu teikumu, tad es nāku un tā. Mistās labāk man. Ok. Nu, tad, kad es saņēmu finansējumu, man zvanīja Robišarts priekšnieks. Nu, un tad viņš man teica, nu, kā tu būs, tu arī kļūst par nelegālo pārkāpēju, ja tu sadarbosies ar viņiem, tad tev, nu, tu pats kļūst par šo nelegālo pārkāpēju. When, uh, when he was get the money for the film, uh, the chief of um, not border, border, border guard, yeah, border. Border guard mm -hmm. uh, he contacted with him and he said that, well, if you, you will, you basically you will be like participant of this illegal matter, mm -hmm. and um, then Ivar has um, many conversations, I guess, with um, Borderland to to get this permission to film there. No, Dagi, she said that's no matter. She has documentalized Kino. Observing. Observing, yeah. <laughs> this is observing documentary, and in uh, in time, but in film, uh, what I filming, uh, uh, go time, time, time. No, so come a win or so never. No, it's never a team. Robert Shargim, tired military structure, and be a lot grown. Come, we must never see. And um, well, 
the main bosses, like I say, in, in the borderland, they said, "Okay, you can do it." But but first, he he needed to um, become like friend with uh, these local guys who are working in the border, like main main guys who are working there, not that one who are sitting in the in the Riga in the office. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he met them, become they. You can say that they become a friend or some colleagues somehow, and uh, then it helped him to work there. Un un atkal vi tā robež starp robež šargiem un tiem valkātājiem, jo jo nu vis laik jā, tur nedrīkst tiem vienam izpaust noslēpumus un otram. And he need to balance because there were secrets he knows about uh, border guys who are how they are working, how they are um, guarding the border. And the secrets he knows from the other part, the guys who 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 will who, who will try to to um, smuggler. smuggler the Vietnamese. So it was like the all thing all the time you need to find this balance because mm -hmm. in the middle of. Uh, how important uh, it was to uh, get involved uh, these uh, judges and police uh, processes in the film was was it um, was it important part of it because uh, you you focused on the main character uh, and he becomes he gets to uh, to tribune he gets to to the court um, so uh, did it became important because he uh, he is he was caught he was captured and uh, uh, he became uh, he, he came to court, or, or, or was it just uh, you wanted to have the the, the official uh, state apparatus, the, the you know the police and, and judge and, and the, the, the guard. You wanted to have have it in the film already from the beginning. Nē, nu, zinā, nu, tas ir svarīgi. Es, es, es zinā, es gribu, es zinā, ka es gribu visu to ķēri, bet tos, nu, protams, ties, pop, ties procesu pepiņam es nezināju, bet, bet kā viņas tur pārbaut, kā viņas tur izģērba, kā viņas viss šito es zināju, bet, bet tas arī bija, nu, viņš tā kā pus legāli, pus nelegāli. Un, un... Jā, bet pepiņš tā bija, ka tu sākumi filmēt, viņš vēl nezināja, ka viņi tiesāks, ka tu zināji, ka viņi tiesāks. Ja, Pepiņam mēs jau pieslēdzamies, jau, nu, mēs filmējam, mums bija vairāk ties procesi, jo mēs viņš jau bija jau, viņš jau bija, tā kā viņam bija tas ties procesi jau sācies, kad mēs viņam sākam filmēt. When he he starts filming this main character, he was already in the court, the procedure mm -hmm. court was started, so he just just film it he, because he he wanted to cut all these uh, all these parts of the chain. Mm -hmm. So the court and the prison and everything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was just, yeah. Nu, protams, montāžā ir panākts, ka izskatās, ka nu, mēs tur sākām un ka viņš tur noķēra, un tas ir, tas ir, tad montāžu procesā mm -hmm. ir, ir veidots stāsts, vesels stāsts, ja, bet, bet mēs, es jau teicu sākumā, ka tas, mm -hmm. mēs sākām filmēt pepiņu vēlāk, un, mm -hmm. un, un tad mēs esam tās samontējuši, ka tas viņa stāsts, nu, ir pilnvērtīgs no viena gal iz otram, bet, bet mēs viņu sākām filmēt vēlāk. Jā, yeah, it looks like that, that they started film from the beginning, mm -hmm. when, when uh, Pepinch was just uh, smuggling, just smuggling, and then there was a uh, police and yeah. um, judge and everything else, mm -hmm. but basically when he starts filming Pepinch, he was already cut in, 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 the, in the court. I see. It's montage. Yeah, trick. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I was uh, I was also thinking um, uh, if uh, it um, if this problem which you show on on a specific case uh, on this Pepe on the main character and and his uh, comrades and gang as as he said he mentions the gang but we don't see uh, uh, too many people uh, so um, how huge is this problem in 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 uh, Latvia is it um, is it uh, uh, hundreds or thousands of people being trafficked uh, from Russia to um, to Latvia, and how many uh, how many coyotes is there uh, working or uh, doing this this uh, illegal job? 
Nu es sapratu. Tātad, nu... Tas ir 500 tūkstoši visā Eiropas Savienībā, bet katru gadu. Bet mums pāris gadus apakaļ tā bija liela problēma, jo priekš Latvijas, lai ar tie cipari nav ļoti lieli, tos vietamieši neņēma apakaļ Krievija. Jā, vēl, few years ago, it was a political situation between Latvijas un Rašā, so... It was kind of Russian, Russian um, politics that they didn't, didn't uh, the, the border was uh, for them, they, they let these people to get through the border, but they didn't, get, didn't uh, take them back. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of Latvian and, um, and uh, Russian politics. And at that moment, there was many these people who are trying to smuggle and the mm -hmm. people who are trying to get through the Latvian border to European Union. And mm -hmm. at this time, I think the problem is not that big anymore. Mm -hmm. So the situation changed uh, yeah. in, 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 in recent weeks or months or years? Oh, years. years, maybe okay. two years ago or something mm -hmm. like that. This is not that bad anymore. Okay, so and the- Change the law. Mm -hmm. And now it's bigger punish punishment for these uh, wrongdoings. Oh, I see. So there is, the number went down, but still, is, is, it, is, it, is it a huge problem? Is it, uh, uh, have, have you uh, explored how many people was doing it? Because it's, I understand that it's difficult to find the exact numbers of people smuggling um, uh, or trafficking uh, other people because it's illegal. But if you have any estimations, for example, how many people was it doing at the time when you were shooting? Nu, jā, cik apmēram tas daudz satika, nu, tu zināji, nu, tā, pa lielam ir teikt, ka katrs, nu, ļoti daudz. Nu, tu jā, tu gan arī pierobežā, nu, kur ir pierobežs, tur vienmēr šī te problēma, tāpēc jau ir kojots, jā, tas kojots ir Amerikas, Meksikas, kā mums ir vārds valkātājs, tā viņiem tas kojots, jā, un ļoti daudz to nodarbojās vienā vai citā veidā. Well, there are, well, the, um, in Latvia, we have this film calls um, Valkatais, and it means someone who is pulling something somewhere. In this case, he's pulling people from the from the Russia to Latvia and then to European Union. And at that time, there, um, well, in in border area, there are all people that are doing something like that. Some people are pulling cigarettes or alcohol, mm -hmm. and and. And, and then they are um, they're starting to pull people. So at that time, there were many people who are doing that. Mm -hmm. Or that they are pulling cigarettes, or they are um, then starting with the uh, with, uh, illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. So was it, was it also, um, was it also a tradition of smuggling from the socialist era? Or is it, is it, did it appear uh, after 1990, after the, the Soviet Union uh, disappeared, or? No, yeah, that's it. But but the Anonika tradition of Padom Laika, or Turbia, Venkash, Turbiana, Robeja, Vena, Pusay, Vens Vekas, Vodra Pusay, Waters Vekas, and Winter Brouts Venkash. And that's when Vekash, no, I stay to it. No, in that time it wasn't because well, there was no borders, and uh, imagine. Well, Eva said the example with the uh, shops, but there is also an example with uh, cemeteries that you are living in one part and your relatives are, are, um, are um, lying in the cemetery in the other side mm -hmm. border. So mm -hmm. it was just, people were just going from other side to, to the other side and uh, mm -hmm. it started only when, uh, when we had the borders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like historical something. Czechy, Slovakia, yeah. not mm -hmm. Yeah, once once the borders were raised, then yeah, it, it appeared. Um, okay, now we might uh, discuss a little bit more. Uh, well, first of all, I want to uh, give chance to our audience because we have a uh, few attendees here. So if you want to ask, uh, feel free to ask uh, Ivars uh, about uh, the film. Um, or about any issues we are discussing. So you can just raise, raise a hand uh, 
raise a virtu virtual hand and join us in the conversation or you can uh, place type the uh, the the question in the q a button through the q a button uh, on zoom platform so just uh, don't worry and you can join our conversation um we are discussing uh film latvian coyotes um, and I want to continue uh, with questions which are more aimed at uh, the main characters. Uh, so once you uh, once you changed the main character because it was impossible to to continue with the with the first um, first character, uh, with uh, you continued with Tape. Uh, was it difficult because we see their home, we see their background. He's living with uh, his girlfriend, uh, who is obviously. Uh, the strong, stronger person in the relation, and he's only um, using her facilities and uh, taking care of the house. But they're also saying that that uh, the man who should uh, do the agriculture, they are too lazy, and they want to earn easy money with with uh, with the smuggling. So, uh, was it difficult to get uh, uh, close to uh, these people, uh, or to be invited in their home? Uh, because there you can see the poverty and there you can see the the, the life they are uh, they are living so uh, was it difficult to get close to the, to, to them no yeah this this is not like but when she starts this with us now no she to you that the uh no vienkārši novērojošā kino sabiedrotais ir laiks in um uh, observing. In observing um, cinema, the most important thing is um, is time. Nu, nu atbrauc, viņiem es esmu interesants, ka, ka tu tani pierobežā cilvēki ir māz ļoti. There are a few people there who are living in, the, in this border area. Mm. Un es atbrauc, kā tāds klauns ar kameru. And even he said that when he arrived there, he was like, clown there, the someone who is, who is entertaining people with his camera. Mm -hmm. And for them it was interesting to watch, watch him, how man he, man. and for him to, to observe these people. No, and pēc kāda apmēram pusgada jau cilvēki, ja pa kur cilvēku var uztaisīt interesantu kīno, jau viņš tevi ir mieri ielaist uh, savā guļam istabā, mm -hmm. nu vai savā mājā. And uh, even things that you can make a film about everyone if this person is letting you in um, in his uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and in this case, it was like half and half a year to get in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then they started them. And then there is. Um, Sometimes they're, they're thinking that where is, where is the, the um, big fiction? Big fiction, fiction is the fiction in a, in a documentary on the fiction in um, in um, feature films. Feature film, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes maybe it's even in a documentary. Yeah. So so uh, it took uh, half a year before you were able to get too close to get close to them and because i i can feel that their uh wild relation or really really uh strangled relation of pepe and his girlfriend uh, unfortunately i forgot her name but um it's it's really not settled and it's not um, uh, it's not stable she's uh, always talking about him as uh, as a, or when he comes back from the jail he, uh, she's talking about him as a slave and he's saying that okay what can i do but still he refuses to do the work she's she's asking him so i was wondering whether she didn't hesitate about letting you in her house and um, being too close no, I don't think maybe that's the spirit of us. Can you see this smile? No, no, we're supposed to be a pause. That would be. And uh, on the one, one hand, you were saying that yeah, maybe it, it felt like that. But we never had part of it. The villain I am, Satikties or Manika, no, the films we do that. But for her also, it was um, intimidating to 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 meet him and to see all this 
process of filming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be interesting. This is the young way of communication. Because there is new um, the way of communication because it was kind of boring for them too, to live in there. So it was new, something entertaining. Yeah, but this is the first and that we picked the film. And this is the reason why she was ready to be in the film. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, I will ask uh, our attendees, our visitors, if they want to uh, add the question or, or uh, join us in the conversation, please raise a hand, a uh, virtual hand uh, on Zoom or just to write down the question if you want to ask. Uh, our guests, uh, then, then you will, you will, get, you will be able to, you are able to ask. So just go ahead. Um, uh, we are slowly going to an end of our uh, conversation. I was uh, thinking uh, that in your documentary uh, we see that uh, there is uh, a globalization as as a phenomenon uh, entering uh, th this uh, this situation. And also uh, this surveillance uh, surveillance techniques uh, when you when you want to capture someone trafficking uh, or smuggling people it's it's much easier now with with all the technological devices you uh, we have so how do you feel that uh, the idea of borders uh, changed uh, and what is the function of of the borders uh, nowadays what you have found and how how the globalization affected. Uh, these practices of smuggling. I'm sorry. I'm Kā tu domā, kā tā globalizācija ietekmē tu nelegālu nodarbību valkāšanu? Globalizācija ļoti ietekmē un īstenībā tie pamat, tie lielie, kas šo te lietu, nu, tā paša, ko mēs minējām, ir, ka tie politiķi nevar vienoties ņemtos, apakaļ tos vietnamiešu pēc tiem noteikumiem var neņemt, un tie lielie spēlētāji jau nav redzami, ir redzami tikai pepiņi, Un, un mazie cilvēki, kas no tā cieši visvairāk. Well, you are, you are things that, um, um, well, it's, um, we see only these small people like Pepinch who are getting cut and who are sent, sent to prison, but um, it's organized crime. And uh, we don't see these main bosses who are, mm -hmm. Dirigents of this orche yeah. illegal orchestra, and uh, also the globalization is kind of changing it, but it's still it's maybe even more uh, organized crime than um, than it was before. The Dalas Vietnamese, we put Nezin, we put Nezin, Kurvin, so Pira, the Renaissance, and Winter Nosmak Fura, and Winter Tik tik bezties un tik bezpalīdzīgi šajā te globalizācijas pasaulē, ka viņi pat nezin, kur viņi atrodas. Viņi vienreiz pie robeš un prasvai te jau ir uh, Berlīna. And this uh, this um, Vietnamese in, in, in this case, uh, sometimes these people they even don't know where are they because uh, for example once we were was filming also this moment the this the group of this Vietnamese they was caught in a, in a forest and one of the guys, he was asking, where is he? Because he, he thought that he's somewhere near to Berlin. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they are, they don't know where are they. They're just following Pepinch. Yeah. Guys like Pepinch. Yeah, so for the people being smuggled, it's the situation is the same as, as 10, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, it doesn't change for them at all. Um, is that right? Yeah, I think we can say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking if 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 uh, the borders, which uh, you know, the, the, you are you are seeing you are seeing uh, the border in a in a bit different way because you are a border state of European Union, but uh, we don't feel this. We don't have the same feeling, even though we understand that we live in a globalized world. We live in Europe without borders. Uh, luckily, still without uh, borders between the states. So 
I was just thinking whether you see the effect of globalization in this term, because uh, uh, before before European Union or, be, or before Latvia joined European Union, uh, it it was it had regular borders uh, all around. No. Pirms tā mums, ne, mums pirms tam es, nu kā viņiem ir vispār no robeža. Mums joprojām ir tā robeža. Un pirms ir, es ar šajā senībā, mums arī bija robeža. Tā man mums viņi vairs nav. Un vai tajā sakajā, ka mēs ar Eiropas savienībā mums vairs nav tā, to pārējo robežu, vai kā mēs, kā, kā mēs to globalizāciju izjūtam? Vai kā to ir ietekmēt tā globalizācija? Kas ir mainījies, kurš mums vairs nav to pārējo robežu? Latviju katru gadu pamet aptuveni 20, 12 000 cilvēku. So for us it means that um, 12? Nu jā. So, around 12,000 people are leaving Latvia every year. They are migrating to the other countries. They are also um, economical migrants, but they are doing this legally. Nu, es kopējā pasaules ģeopolitika dotajā laikā ļoti mainās. And, uh, well, this is uh, one part how the world is changing in this mm-hmm. globalization. Tagad vēl piedevām arī COVID. And now the coronavirus also affecting that. Es personīgi arī domāju, ka tuvākajā laikā kaut kādā veidā es to, protams, nevar pateikt, bet ģeopolitisks liels izmaiņas var sekot. And the other thing is that in, um, in the near future there will be some big uh, changes because of coronavirus and mm-hmm. other things and globalization and all the situation that we are living now. Yes. Well, unfortunately we all see that probably the changes are coming and uh, we uh, should do our best to to uh, change it or to avoid the worst worst scenarios uh, i have a first question from our uh, from our audience um, and it's it's a question uh, written here um, what uh, can we do or what is what is a, what is necessary to be done uh, to improve the situation so it's not question directly to you. What what can you do, or what can we do, uh, as uh, as the people, as the audience of the film? But what it's possible to to do so the situation would would improve, would get better. Situation with what with uh, smuggling? Um, it's it's not specified. So I would I would expect uh, the sm- smuggling. Yes. Mm. Nu, tas, ko mēs varējām darīt, mēs jau izdarījām. Šajos te n, trīs, vairāk, ka trīs gados. Tā kā Latvija kā valsts nav? Doreiz. Latvija kā valsts izdarīja? Nē, mēs Jā. kā filmētāji. Jā. Nu, you were saying that uh, he thinks that they are like, they, the film, film, film team, they already did something that they, they can with Mē... this film. Mēs, mēs šo te ar savu filmu parādījām, cik tas ir skaudri un cik tas nav vienkārši šo te robežu šķērsot gan tiem vietnamiešiem, gan tiem valkātājiem un visiem pāriem. And the, the film showed that this, uh, this problem, the situation is hard for both, both the, the, the smugglers and the guys who are want to to get in the European Union for crossing illegal border. It's like, it's, it's showing the situation of how it looks in un, real time, in real life. In Latvia, there are Vietnamese. And in Latvia, there are many uh, Vietnamese who are living here in, uh, illegally. We were talking about the seans, and we were talking about the film, and we were talking about Vietnam kur mēs vēl mēģināsim arī to filmu Vietnamā parādī. There were many, well not many, but some people from Vietnam who are living in Riga who was in the premiere and um, he was is hoping that maybe one day he can uh, show this film also in Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, so hopefully 
it could uh, help to understand the situation also for Vietnamese who are leaving leaving their country uh, and trying to get uh, to enter Europe and paying uh, enormous uh, amount of money for for this uh, for being trafficked without without uh, uh, certain results. Sometimes the danger that they get uh, caught is is really high. Yeah, because sometimes there is like all oh, the the one village is uh, collecting money for one person to get. To the to the European, yes. sometimes he's cut somewhere in Latvian forests and sent back. Yes, yes. So um, uh, our time is almost up. So I would just uh, ask uh, whether uh, there is another uh, topic or issue uh, similar to this one uh, which you would like to uh, follow, which you would like to maybe continue in in, in similar um, in, in in your next project in your next documentary. Nu ja, ja, ja. Man, man šī nākamā filma ir, es jau kopš 14. marta filmē filmu par šo te vīrus. In, uh, in mārt, uh, you have started to film all the, everything that's going on here in Latvijā with coronavirus. So his new film maybe will be about... Mm -hmm. Ja arī zinām, man mērā tā kā dokumentālista misija, kad es sāku. And he thought that it was like his mission as a documentarian to to uh, film all what everything was happening with uh, with this virus in Latvia. Because nobody didn't know what will what will happen. Vai tas būs Itālijas scenārijs, vai, ka tur pilns ledus skals ar līķiem, vai arī nekas te nebūs? Because we didn't know it. it we, we we saw in uh, television and everywhere that uh, about Italy that there was uh, Italy that there was these many people who are who, who are dying and everything and we didn't know what what will be here in Latvia the same or or something else different scenario. And so we didn't know Latvia and we had love for And um, and for for at this moment it's not that bad in Latvia. At this moment, we are quite, quite uh, lucky. We can say that we are lucky. But the other was could be not a car card stall, plus wealthy, poverty. But uh, but uh, in a in a springtime, when it was um, it wasn't like lockdown, but the situation was more serious, serious, serious than than uh, it was in a, in the summertime. Us dom lauk us us gauna Latvijas lauku. And in uh, old in the Riga, we have this. Um, in old Riga, there is this main uh, square. It's called Doma Square. It's quite a big, big square, but very popular. This this lake must be too much. It, it's uh, this this square. It was empty. And there's Pele, Vince, Vinnie, Charlie. And there was one guy who was playing cello. And he was playing, and uh, he is playing only Bach. And he was uh, feeding uh, pigeons. Mm, mm. And then uh, he was, was asking him why he is still playing there. And this guy, he told him that uh, in Italy there is no tourist and uh, the pigeons in, uh, in Rome and other in other um, in cities, there's no one who is feeding them. And he mm -hmm. was felt sorry about these Italian pigeons. So she was, he was feed, feeding uh, pigeons in uh, Doma Square. And the And this guy, he was he's watching like Russian television and, uh, and other other channels and reading other news from the, the globe, and he was uh, telling viewers about uh, things that he find out and mm -hmm. commenting them. And he's kind of mind mind character at this time at this point. Mm -hmm. And uh, also they were filming the empty airports and uh, cities and shops and uh, everything else was total silence. And then laiks ritei mūs Čerlis izšķīrās ar sievu, ar kuru viņš bija dzīvojis 24 gadus kopā. And uh, my times this uh, this guy who is playing cello in Dome Square, he uh, 
um, se was separated with his wife. He was living for 24, 20, 24 years together. Mm -hmm. And the reason was because the, the child, the schools was closed and the child was um, at home and they, they teach it teaching him at home and there was some um, arguments about how to how to raise and teach uh, mm -hmm. children child okay this uh, this uh, cellist and she party or a depression on a little doubt alcohol and now this guy he's depressed and drinking a lot and um yeah he's very sad Kādreiz viņš bija ļoti labs uh, augsts klases čelis, kas spēlēja slavenos orķestros. He was, play, he, uh, he was very um, good player who was, he was playing in a big uh, orchestras. Mm -hmm. Now he is playing in the Doma Square. Mm, tas tāds personīgs Covid stāsts, kuram es sekošu. Un vēl jau nezinu, kā tagad otrais vilns ir krietnes skarbāks Latvijā nekā bija pirmā. And uh, well, this is an uh, angle, how Evers is um, telling this COVID story in Latvia. Mm -hmm. This sounds really uh, amazing. I think it's important not only to report about what filmmaker uh, is doing at home during the lockdown, which is an uh, example of several filmmakers uh, who tried this, but also see it in, in wider, uh, wider connections and see, see, see a bigger picture. Of, of, of it, but also the result on uh, on individual lives, which uh, which you mentioned, which you described recently. So, unfortunately, our time is up, so uh, we need to end. Uh, so I hope that uh, we will uh, be able to see your film uh, at the Ihlava Film Festival in future, uh, in next years, uh, the, the one you described recently. And also wish you good luck with, with Latvian Coyotes, because uh, it's uh, starting uh, it's a festival tour and hopefully it will be uh, invited uh, to other festivals uh, and to get some more awards. So congratulations to the award again and thank you for uh, this conversation. Uh, Ivar Zviedris uh, and his film Latvian Kurtz who was awarded at Between the Seas in the, at the Hlava Film Festival. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Have bye. a good evening. Bye bye. Good evening. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good evening. Yeah. yeah.